Crime Watch Daily brought you the tragic story of Kara Kapetsky, a girl who walked out the doors of her high school and disappeared forever. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Speaking to our affiliate, WDAF, just days ago, Kara's mom says she still suspects Kara's ex-boyfriend, Kyler Hust, in that case. Well, I've told people over and over and over again if I had to bet my life on him being responsible for my daughter's disappearance, I would. And yet, Kyler has never been charged with anything in connection with Kara's vanishing. But he is in jail now, a person of interest in another girl's disappearance. If he is charged, what do you think should happen to him? I mean, I definitely think he needs to rot in jail, that's for sure. Uh, he needs to have some sort of consequences for both of these cases now. 21-year-old Jessica Runyons was last seen leaving a party with Eust in her black Chevy Equinox, a car cops found charred and abandoned on the side of the road a few days later. Kyler was arrested for knowingly burning that vehicle. But there was something else about that car, something that suddenly jarred my memory. It was just a few months ago when we tracked Kyler Eust down to his grandfather's house to ask him about Kara. And oddly enough, as I walked up, I remember seeing this car in the driveway, a black Chevy Equinox. Thinking nothing of it at the time, I tried to get Kyler to come to the door, instead getting his granddad. Hello, how are you? Hi. My name is Andrea Isom. I'm with a show called Crime Watch Daily. We are working on a case about Kara Kapetsky, his ex-girlfriend. And with a show called Crime Watch Daily, and we're trying to help police get some answers so we can give the family some closure and some resolution well, to this. Hey, he's yes. been to, with the police 20 times. He's, he can talk to them. He, he has nothing else to offer because he has nothing, knows nothing about it. But his denial does little to console her stepdad, Jim. One of her last phone calls was with her boyfriend, and it was like a 20 minute conversation. I think he picked her up. I think they talked, discussed, whatever, about moving on. And I think that he didn't want to let Kara go. You truly believe in your heart of hearts that he did something horrible and criminal to your daughter? Yes. When I pressed Kyler's grandpa on that accusation, he had this to say. If he had something to do with this, what would that do to you as his grandfather? He would hurt me. But do you think he killed her? No. No. And you can say that 100%, Grandpa. Yes. It was a dramatic moment, but there was another. One we could not have known the significance of then. As I was trying to get Kyler to come down, a young woman briefly came to the door. Hello. Hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Is there something you can help us with? No, what were the show called that's Crime Watch Daily? That's friend, if he is, that's uh, it. So who was that girl? With a car in the driveway, matching the same make and model as Jessica's, our producers were curious enough to share that information with police. And they have expressed interest in looking into it further. We'll keep you updated over the coming days as this story continues to develop. I really hope it turns out for the best. You know, I really hope that Jessica is found safe and that the Kapetsky family gets some justice. But for now, two families wait for answers and a community clings to hope. You've been in touch with Jessica's mom. Explain how that went. Sunday morning, she had reached out to me with her phone number asking me to call her because she really felt like she needed to talk to somebody that would understand how she felt. What did you say? I just called, I called her and I said, hi, this is Rhonda Beckford, I'm Car Kapetsky's mother. And she said, oh, thank you so much for calling. Because when you're in a situation, nobody understands how you feel but another person with a missing child. Two families feeling a pain today that no family should ever feel. And right now it's time for you to help them heal. If you have any information on the disappearance of Jessica Runyons or Kara Kapetsky, you can leave a tip anonymously at CrimeWatchDaily.com.